Yo, yo, yo. Y'all know how the Bulls down there do it. Bring back in the excitement so we can watch this goddamn NBA. It is Summer League, goddamn. So we can't get too turned up. But it was a good feeling, so we can get turned up. So we're going to play the intro, and we're going to dive up into this goddamn game. Let's get it. Cognac. Gang. Shot Bulls Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I'm with my dog, Seat Dub. And we got Big Bro from Chopping It Up Chicago joining us today. How y'all feeling, man? I'm straight, man. We finally got us some motherfucking Bulls basketball, baby. It's yes, been a sir, long baby. time, baby. It yes, was sir. exciting, man. It was yes, exciting. Sir. My boy then pulled over in a car to talk about this goddamn game. You hear me? Thanks yes, for joining sir. us, my boy. Appreciate you. Of course, of course. What up, what up, Cognac gang in the building? What's good, fellas? <laughs> I already know. Now listen, now listen. This was a this was a very entertaining game to be a first summer league game. And I first want to talk about Samanovich, and I definitely want to hear y'all first. What y'all think about Samanovich performance? He dropped, let me give you the, the stats. 27 points and 13 rebounds. What y'all think about Samanovich this game? Man, Samanovich, he impressed me. I'm not going to front. He did what he was supposed to do. We talked about this last week. Uh, you're going to be in the summer league. You better dominate. You, you, you're a, boy, a man amongst boys at this point. Um, and he went out there and did what he was supposed to do. He had he struggled kind of in the second, third quarter, but picked it back up in the fourth quarter and in overtime. And more, most importantly, he grabbed some big boards, got some putbacks, forced overtime, and hit the game winner or you know that game winning free throw in overtime. So I give him a, a, a solid, solid B, B plus for today's efforts. He had a double double that's strong, and he went out there and did what he was supposed to do. So shout out to Simonovich. We definitely was on his case last week coming into the summer league. Bulls got the W too, so I'm happy about it. Okay. Definitely. We understand this summer league where the Chicago Bulls, they finished the game 100 uh, to 99 versus the Mavs. At one point, I feel like the Mavs was going to run away, but them boys, not just Simonovic, they, they went in. You know what I'm saying? They, they they got competitive and put the clamps on a little bit more. But Simonovic, very impressed. B-plus is why I'm going to go with, right with you, uh, Kev. Uh, we already talked about it, the 27 points with the 13 rebounds and definitely coming through when it was, cr- when it was clutch time. You know what I mean? they, they, we started gaining that momentum, and when we had the momentum, we couldn't drop the ball. You know what I'm saying? That's something that we like to see. This guy, we seen multiple things from him. Um, I seen him go in the pick and roll, hit a couple pick and pops, run in transition. You know what I'm saying? And so, hey, B plus for me. Go ahead. Let me, let me say one more thing. Defensively, he stepped up late in the fourth quarter and in a forced turnovers. So when he did that, he when they stepped up and double team, uh, what's his name, Hardy, but he gave us almost thirty. Man, forced turn. So, so you hear me, nephew? Yeah. All right, you hear me? Uh, look. When I look, when I watched Simonovic out there on the court, I seen a lot of good things. I also seen some bad things. Let's not get carried away. I see how I want people want to grade him with a B plus and everything. It's the first game, but in that overtime, let's go before that overtime. Simonovic, he came out and he was hot, baby. He hit a couple shots in a row, man. I'm like, look at this guy. He is going crazy. I'm like, okay, Samanic, if it, he hit a play, baby. I'm getting ready to see something. Then we get to the meat and chunk of that game, and it was a point in this game where he was shooting, what, like six for 15 or six to 16. He was inaccurate. You could probably chalk it up to, you know, probably nerves or it's the first game of competitive basketball in a while. But you have to grade that as well. So, but, you know, he came through at the end, that fourth quarter. He hit like four shot, four points in a row to bring us to overtime. 
He threw up, you know, he threw up the Superman, you know, he put up them strong arms, you know. I appreciate that. I love all type of enthusiasm. Then we get to the overtime, baby. And I did not like him giving up that dunk. I would have liked a better contest on that straight line dunk to tie the game and left 13 seconds on the clock. Now, I do appreciate that he came back at the end Gobbled up that rebound because the the Dallas Maverick player uh, went to go double team the shooter up there by the free throw line. A dumbass move. I don't know who told him to go do that, but he did it. Gobbled up that rebound. Got fouled. Hit that free throw. Missed the last one on purpose. I will get, say that is a good performance from uh, Samanovic. I like no the way good. that uh, it was a good performance. No, but, we do a cognac game. Everybody know we do great. Great. Really? No grades. No grades. No, I ain't giving no grades. I ain't getting man. no grades. Hey, y'all hold this man accountable. No grades. You graded every single prospect that came through. No grades. graded every single player that no came grade. through. No grades. You hating. Let me get it. I, like I said, good performance for Samanovic. What's the grade? Uh, no grade. This is just summer grade? league first grade. First game. Grade no grade. Performance? No grade. That's he's not getting the grade. The hate we you can say whatever you want. The he ain't getting the grade. Show, and Good performance, Simonovic. I'm waiting for the second the game. Hate. Damn, can I finish, nephew? No, because <laughs> you're, not, Damn. you're not living up to the bylaws of Cognac game. He ain't getting no grades. No it's, grades. It's a bylaw with the Cognac Nobody's game. Nobody's getting the grade. So you Nobody ain't getting the grade. No, so you ain't grade nobody for the get Nobody a grade. Nobody right. a grade for this first Remember game. This. We're going to chalk it. So, look, good performance from Simonovic. I'm eager to see the next game. Uh, I'm eager and intrigued. He got me very intrigued to see if he can help this team in the a, in a real games in the regular season. Now, with that being said, Jalen Terry was absolutely fantastic to me. No, he wasn't. Damn. To me, <laughs> Jalen Terry. You talking about Dalen? Dalen Terry? Yeah, Dalen Terry. He was absolutely fantastic. I love his playmaking. I love his attitude. Chicago is going to love this kid. I'm telling you right so, now. So my thoughts on Dalen, man, He, um, I'm going to give him a C for today. Um, Cognac boy, Bobby. I'm going to give Dalen Terry, I'm going to give the rookie a C because a couple of turnovers out there. Tried to thread the needle a couple of times, throwing the ball across court, making decisions that you probably can get away with uh, against lesser competition in high school and in college. But even the summer league is a step above uh, for, <laughs> for a young player. So when you you learning that you got defenders, they play with their hands, they play with their feet, they're long or longer than you are, so on and so forth, you're going to have to see the whole floor. But it is summer league, so I'm not being too hard on a young fella. I want to see him make better decisions when he's running the offense. Uh, but I did like what I saw from him in crunch time, especially when we hit it with the pump fake, swim move, drive to the basket to make it a two-point game late in the fourth quarter. Uh, without that aggressiveness, uh, we'd be in trouble. So it, you can tell that he's not afraid of the moment. At he all. knows what his strengths are. He's not going to jack up a bad three, at least at least this early in his career. Because you know once you get to the NBA, your job is to jack up bad threes eventually. But, uh, <laughs> you know, at this moment, he, he's playing to his strengths. He drove to the basket. He played really good defense as well on uh, the young man that was killing us. <laughs> Dallas, he was giving us buckets. Oh, man. Uh, Hardy, Hardy, but him and Semenovich stepped up and double teamed him a couple of times in the fourth quarter in overtime and for his big turnover. So, shout out to the young rookie. I think he's going to get the uh, – he's going to shake the car. He, you know, nerves as well. He's going to be able to get baskets, and he's going to work on what he needs to work on. Shout out to him. Hey. I'm going to give my boy uh, Dale and Terry a C just like half. It was an average game to me. There was some good things that I liked, but there were moments to where that guy was – he th he thought he was still on the college court to where he, to he was a bit erratic. You know what I'm saying? To where those six turnovers came into play for him. There was some good things I did like, though. You know what I'm saying? He bounced back. He kept playing, kept, kept up the same energy, started talking crap to the other team when those guys thought that they was going to run away with the win. So I get I, I I like that stuff. And then one thing that stood out to me the most is that this guy is cheering his ass off for his teammates. Yeah. You want players on your team like that that's gonna cheer for their teammates and just gonna say, Hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm here for y'all. As long as y'all doing what y'all gotta do, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. And I think that it was it was smart. 
by the Bulls to get him um get him uh, uh facilitating the offense. That was good. I feel like in the beginning he was a bit jittery, maybe, but he definitely got comfortable towards the end of the game. Yo, and and also I want to say I love this kid's poise and will to win, Dale and Terry. Like we just Chicago, just get ready. You are gonna find a new love. He gonna be like Alex Caruso when the season start. Now let's get to this kid. This kid is a prize to me. This kid, he's gonna make it hard for a lot of uh Chicago Bulls. Javon Freeman, Liberty. Yes. yes. This kid can score the basketball, bro. Like mm -hmm. from everywhere on the court, I was impressed with this kid, and he never gets so never gets too high, never gets too low. You didn't see him cheer. You, you didn't see him get mad. You didn't see him get too happy. He reminds me of somebody. I ain't gonna say it though. You know what I'm saying? Because he ain't that. He ain't that. What y'all think about Javon Freeman Liberty? I like what I saw from a young fella. High motor. Another one. I mean, it's summer league, right? So like we said earlier, it's kind of like uh, high quality YMCA basketball for these young guys. They out there <laughs> playing with athletes, five-star athletes, four-star athletes, so on and so forth. So if you can go out there and hold your own, because I know none out of the three of us, we probably get one bucket in summer league, and that's being generous. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> You can go out there and you can perform with your uh with these guys and put the ball in the basket. That's the name of the game. And then if you could do that effectively enough, then defense don't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Like you obviously you gotta play some defense to make it to the NBA court. But if you can go out there and put the ball in the basket, that's important, especially to all of these teams. So I'm looking forward to seeing what else he got to bring. Uh I, I don't have a grade for this young fella because you know I was really focusing on Samanovich and the rookie and the uh, the Walker kid that you were telling me about. But uh I like what I saw from Freeman this uh the tonight or today, this afternoon. Yeah, definitely like what he brought to the game before we even got to summer league. I was I was uh telling C dub that the boys should look into him. Uh he wasn't gonna go draft, he wasn't gonna get drafted, but he's a Chicago product. Whitney Young High School, and then he played at DePaul. And when I was watching some of his film, I liked some of the things that he did when it came to attacking the basket and shooting the damn ball. And that's what he did today. Hence why I feel like he, you know, the spot, he got a little bit, he got his 15 seconds of fame, damn it. He made some good plays out there, and then he he was able to, you know, take over when the other guys that we were really looking at went to the, went to the bench. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, you know, it's going to be tough, you know, picking a team, you know, with all these talented players we got uh, tied to this uh, Bulls organization. And it's a good thing for us, you know what I'm saying, if you got a lot of talent and it's hard to pick players on your team. But let's get to that big guy, Justin Lewis. I think Justin Lewis, he going to be a big part of this team going forward. I like his strength. He down there in the paint trying to battle. He got moves on the perimeter. He can juke people. He can play a power game. He can play a little defense. I ain't like that foul they called on him at the end of the game. I didn't like that. That looked like a Come on, good, it should have been a charge. Contest. It should have been it should have been a charge. Yeah, not not that play, but the play he went up to block. It was it was a little bit before that. Uh Justin Lewis is he really, really talented, dude. What y'all, uh, nephew, what you think about uh, Justin Lewis out there on the floor today? What you think, think about his performance today? I don't think today was a good outing for him, but it is summer league. It is the first game. Um, I'm going C minus for this young fella. I feel like he, I feel like he was a bit loose with the ball. I mean, he had some plays, so he'd be like, okay, we know this kid athletic, and man, he just, he just got a big frame, like. So you know that he got an opportunity, you know, to make a name for himself. He definitely be useful in future lineups and whatnot. But I definitely, I want to, I'm for him. I'm gonna definitely look towards the next game to see how he bounced back because I don't think that he had a good performance. But he did have, you know, some moments where I was like, okay, this kid, he big, six seven, six eight. He can move his damn feet. And that I always say, bro, y'all, these guys, you trying to earn a job. There is no reason why you shouldn't be out there playing defense. And he was out there at least playing defense, even though his offensive game wasn't going for him. And there and still running and still trying to be a uh have an impact on the game. So I think he I think he's gonna be good though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say that, you know, 
there wasn't really much uh, that I saw too from him today uh, that made me say, wow. Like you saw flashes. You could tell he's athletic. Um, and, you know, he's, he's, he's in that Derrick Jones Jr. type role, right, where he got to come out there, be energetic. They're going to expect him to be able to hit the corner three, grab rebounds, so on and so forth. But like you said, play defense. If you ain't if, if, players like him, if he's not playing defense, he's not going to see the floor. So that should be his main focus is playing defense and making himself available to get rebounds, do the dirty work. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he has to offer over these next three games. But uh, as of right now, I, I could give him an incomplete for a grade because it wasn't really too much that I saw. But I know that you think he the steal of the draft, uh, C Dub. So yes. I'm definitely keeping my eye on him. Yes, for sure. Now. Let's talk about people that was doing a little bit too much on that court today. Oh, man. I had my eye. I was trying to watch this game because it was getting interesting. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, these kids was out there playing real hard. And somebody just kept getting away a good basketball. I'm sorry to say it like that. But what is this food name, the first name, make a Thon, make a brother. Somebody get this fool <laughs> off the court, bro. <laughs> He was, oh, we. How did he get an invite to the team? I, hey, man, the dude was trying to handle the ball up the court. Soon as he gets to the other side, he throw an easy turnover <laughs> to the other team. Uh, he didn't even get a triple single today. This is just bad, bro. I don't know if he could. He got some more games to make it up. But if I was to pick up a dud from this team, it'll be that boy maker. I'm sorry. First of all, his ass going to the Windy City Bulls after. <laughs> we don't have a lot of slots, and Samanovic going to take that, that last slot that's available because the B word is going to get cut. Mark my words. He's going to get cut. So, yeah, it is what it is. A lot of these guys going to go out there and, 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 and try to overdo it so they can prove a point. But, man, I got a, just a quick shout-out to Carlick Jones, number yes. 26. He came in and played some defense in clutch moments. He ain't do much, but, damn, that defense, it, it was solid and it was noticeable. So, good job on him. He had nine like assists, too, nephew, nine assists. Carly Jones, yeah. he almost did away with all that good by taking that dumbass shot towards the end of the game <laughs> where he easily <laughs> – Easily could have just just passed it off to Samanovich, who was rolling to the basket, Facts. or <laughs> or just, just don't like right, or just don't take that type of shot, bro. Like, but yeah. it worked out. Um, it worked out. He wanted to be the hero, um, maker. I didn't see much from him because I I was at work, like kind of listening to the game, watching the game simultaneously. So I didn't see uh much from him, but I did hear that the Bulls had twenty plus turnovers. And again, even though it's summer league, you, you th those are two things that the coaches want you to do is take care of the basketball and play defense. And if you want to, and obviously Maker, I don't think he's even going to be on the Windy City Bulls. I think he's just auditioning. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's auditioning for some some Switzerland team. But um, other than that, uh, you know, I thought that the, the overall results of getting that W is what really matters. And then the squad can go look at tape and get better. But seeing Simonovich lead those boys to a win as the leader on this summer league team was important. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. He Real played a good though. game. Real quick, though, shout out to the 31 people that's on the live rocking with the Cognac gang. Hit that like button, subscribe if you ain't subscribed already. We bringing this all summer league and going into the season is going to be rocking. Bussin'. And before we get to the game, you know how we do. We going to keep one thing because I mean, who is the most valuable player of this game. And now you know I'm a surprise. I don't go with the everyday choice. <laughs> so we gonna go with nephew. Who you got for the most valuable player? I think I know how you call me. You already know who I'm gonna say. Say it for me. <laughs> Marco Simonovich. Too easy. My guy, <laughs> out, my guy came out firing and he secured the game, man. It's no more. He, in my, in my personal opinion, this is that's what the hell he's supposed to do. You didn't spend a year in the Windy City Bulls. This game was supposed to be like, all right, because everybody had their bifocals, their binoculars, they everything like, okay, uh, Mark Eversley, AK, and Billy Donovan. Y'all didn't even put this damn boy in when y'all was getting blowed out by 30. Man. Why? It says and he, a lot. And, and the news. Yeah, he put on 25, uh, 25 pounds. And the news, he averaged 20 and 10 in the G League. Like, so 
what, what what's this prized possession that y'all hold? I don't I don't feel like we got to fully open the box, but I feel like we got a just small little peek. You know what I'm saying? So I respect that. I'm going with Simonovich on that one. I respect that for sure. Who you got, Kev? I mean. Bob, uh, Bobby, you want to just say what you just said? Because uh, obviously, Marco Simonovich. I, yeah. I'm not right. <laughs> I'm not, not going to go against the grain just to go against the grain. A la uh, Pace from the Bull Bears, who's no longer the GM of the Bears, uh, just picking people just to pick them. Uh, Simonovich is the clear MVP of this game. A double double shot over fifty percent. Yeah, it's it's clear. Game winning shot, re- game winning rebound, effective defense down the stretch. Uh, you, it just doesn't make sense to pick anybody else. Oh, I'm gonna make make it make sense. I'm going with Dalen Terry. We're bringing energy to this team, helping them come back. If you don't infuse your team with energy, they never had a chance to come back. They can go with Samanovich. I appreciate, I respect it, but I'm going with the energy that got him there. Dalen Terry, baby, with the most valuable player of the game. <laughs> Nephew, you let's get to the chat, baby! If you don't get your big Eagle Dollar should have won the MVP. Let's go. <laughs> go to the chat. They mad. They mad. Dalen Terry, my MVP, baby. Go to the chat. I can't believe this. Y'all see why I be coming in fired up? <laughs> <laughs> the man drive me nuts. How the nephew drive the uncle nuts? <laughs> like what the fuck? Hey, reverse. Say that reverse. Yeah. How the uncle drive the nephew nuts? Y'all there you know. go. <laughs> Don't argue with me. Argue with your mama, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> what up, producer Hack? He said Marco might be ready, fam. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he just might Where be. <laughs> Jay Capone, Don, appreciate you for tuning in again, my boy. Thank hey, you. That- Hey, he getting certified, baby. He certified. Yeah, he certified cognac game. My boy said, "What's the word, y'all? Great effort from the team. Dale and Terry is promising. Just needs to clean up the turnovers and develop yes. offensively. He's gonna be dangerous." Lewis is a bucket. Marco being a dog. He'll showing out. Okay. okay. I can agree with all. Of I that. agree with all that. That's fact. Hey, yeah. Shout out, shout out to Malcolm Hill though. For real, he was a steady hey. force today. Yeah, definitely. He was definitely steady. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. He literally kept the Bulls in the game when it was down eight, nine in the fourth quarter. He was the one yeah. getting buckets. That I'll, let you, call, I'll let you call it. His name, man. <laughs> I'll let you call it. I'll let you call it. I'm straight. See, Dub had tunnel vision. On, on I'm, one straight. I'm straight. I'm <laughs> straight. He's just filling the spot, baby. Go on to the next chat. <laughs> <laughs> JDA said that boy Marco put on some serious muscle. 25 pounds. It's showing, man. He did. He definitely he looked on. different. He do, He definitely looked a little heavier. He was hey. playing through contact, too. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. I haven't said great finish. Boys just need to help guys to watch over them. Hey, let us pray. Oh man, you know that's what you know that's what told him down last man. season. Anything besides anything else that defense, uh, Vooch couldn't play the pick and roll. It was definitely injuries that towed his team down last year. Tore it down. Hey, we got somebody. Look, it looked like. Don't please forgive me, but it looked like Chinese. Uh, it says Marco's growing into a man. Okay. Um, I believe I believe with the with the frame and the, the way he put on, yeah. But we we I like to, today's game. But let's see the next four. Let's see yeah. the next four. He looked different. He looked different out there on the court. Got to give him that. He looked different. One eye main man. Shout out JDH. Say he cheering for Marco to make it to the NBA. Me too. Cause Bradley need to find a new home. That's the only. Oh yeah. <laughs> And, and his new home is at home at his really <laughs> house of residence. Hey, Tony Bradley, come hoop with me at the YMCA, baby. Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you gonna be the first pick, my dude. <laughs> For real. Hey, so we got Sh- Shannon Schroeder said when we decided to clamp down, we were able to get stops. Terry was yep. key to that. Marco is a nice backup big. I agree, man. Yeah, that's why I said he was an MVP. He he was the uh the fire starter that started that comeback, playing that aggressive defense and bringing energy and enthusiasm to the team. Absolutely. Yeah. My boy JDH said I need to calm down. I'm calm now, but that's just a glimpse of what of, of what happens on the phone conversations with me and that man. <laughs> 
That's just a small piece. That ain't nothing. We be cussing each other out, talking shit. Both us stupid idiots. And how, <laughs> how could you say this? How could you do that? Why this don't make sense? Boy, that don't make sense. Boy, you done lost your mind. Boy, you are... Yeah, that was just a small glimpse. Hey, but it's hey, all love don't, at the they end don't talk of the to me. They don't talk to me like that, child. <laughs> <laughs> It's all peaceful over here. <laughs> hey, 40 people in the chat. Thank you for, for participating, baby. Y'all hit that like, subscribe, and comment, man. We getting to y'all. Get into the gang. Appreciate all of y'all, bro. For real. Hey, shout out to Donovan D. He pointed out the six turnovers that uh, Dalen yeah, had. Definitely. Uh, CJ The Truth, a returning guest. Appreciate you, my boy. He said Dalen turned up at the end. I definitely. That. Hey, the shot. Billy better not hate Marco. He better get his mind right. I don't think he hate Marco. I don't think no, he, he just he just want Buddy to play hard. Yeah, sometimes, that's it. Sometimes European players, well, he's from Montenegro. You know, they could be entitled. They was dominant for since they were twelve. You know how it be. Yeah. Remember when Rick, Ricky Rubio was like thirteen years old, winning MVP. Going years. Crazy. <laughs> so yeah. it's like you come to the league and it's like you run into a Joel Embiid. He not he don't care what you did in the G League. For sure, so he, for sure. So Billy Donovan right. just want him to go out there and play hard. You know, I don't think he hate him. You got to earn this. JDA said, do we think Marco ready to back up Drummond on the end of our bench? <laughs> no, so, man. It, Drum, no. Drummond's going to play a bigger role than the end of the bench. That's a guarantee right there. No, I think he's <laughs> saying Marco going to be on the end of the bench. He's like, he coming in third. Uh, I think so. I think that's how it's all going to plan out. I think it's Vooch, then you go drumming, and then, you know, garbage time, Simonovich to improve itself. But even still, like, Simonovich and Drummond, they both going to get some time at the four as well. Like, it's not going to just be playing the center. It's, they going to get some time. You think so with all these small lineups that Billy Donovan like to play? I don't know about that. I don't know if he like digs. Simonovich is part of the small lineup, though. <laughs> like, he... He's a stretch big. He can shoot. He can catch and shoot. He can. I'm just saying, like that's what his role is supposed to be. Yeah, and in today's to. in today's NBA, like you don't have your traditional big man too tough. That's why the Bulls are lagging behind, is because they still got people who can't be the new NBA big man. It, it, it's sad. B-word. Absolutely. B word. <laughs> Hey, I man, Shannon Schroeder said Marco just gave Tony Bradley his hat and keys and showed him the dough. Hey, I hope that's hey, bro. Right. Hey, we ain't even got to go. The dough already open. Real. CJ, the truth, he God, said damn. Freeman Liberty can play three positions. I agree. Yes, absolutely. One, two, that three, kid, man. that kid can score the ball for sure, for sure. Yeah. And I like his defense. He got yeah. he got called for a lot of absolutely. a lot of fouls, a lot of little young fouls. Them was young fouls, I call them. But <laughs> yeah, that boy God. gonna be decent. He gonna be decent <laughs> on the court. Hey, my boy Mike B from On the Go Shot Sports. My check him out if y'all ain't check him out yet. Goddamn. Uh, he said he yelled out Marco. He said he know he late, but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to you, Lincoln. He talking about boys just traded for KD. No, we didn't, y'all. Get your trolling ass <laughs> out of here. Hey, get up out of here. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> No, we did not. We need to get us some moderators to blick down these trolls. Bro. <laughs> look, to blick them right up. down. And then look, because they would have had to include everything for KD, including this podcast. Oh, um, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you feel me? So, so we're going to keep going through them chugging. You feel me? My boy might be said Lewis look like a grown man. He excited to see his growth. Me too, yes. bro. I think next game he'll have a better game than today's game. That's just my yeah, opinion. Yeah, absolutely. You feel me? Travis Andrews said Marco is definitely ready. He definitely ready for, to be I, the goddamn Windy City Bulls, I tell you that. I, I don't know, definitely, but he he it's, on the right path. He on the right definitely path. Definitely for me. It, bro, he's better than who the hell the Bulls got on the on that last center spot. That's a fact. Man. That's a fact. That's a fact. But that's what he want to be? That's a, that's all he want to be? Bro, he can be better than that. That's what I'm it's saying. Gonna, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be moments to where you be like, damn. Vooch ain't getting no offense. Drummond ain't giving no offense. You're going to need some offense because Drummond ain't got much offense to offer. <laughs> you, feel me? you need second chance points. Okay, cool. But there's there's not much offense coming from that guy. So, oh, bro. Bob Somers, appreciate you joining. Just first time I seen you. He said Marco played dominant. See, Doug. <laughs> You agree with that? He played dominant. I'm he, he was good at the end. He was good at the end. I wouldn't say he. D- 
dominated. He, he, he was dominated he was great first, at the end. The first six minutes, like when he had like eight points out the door. Yeah, he had a good and start. Then, and then at the end, but you know, grabbing double digit rebounds is, is still big, even though it was summer league. Um, I think he was dominant in moments, but he didn't dominate the game. That boy Hardy over there in Dallas oh, dominated dude. the game. Hey, we ain't even talk about him. I'm scared for him. He got to go play with that fool who keep the ball for 20 seconds of the shot clock. They're not going to play at the same time. It's going to be like they did mm-hmm. with Brunson. They're going to have that to back boy up. is talented. It's going to be different. And it's gonna be difficult talented. for that kid. And oh man, I, don't, I think that uh, I think it's gonna be good for Hardy though. You think I so? Think, I don't. I don't think Jay Kidd. Because Jason is gonna, Kidd. It's gonna be Jason Kidd, bro. Jason Kidd. Right. To me, it's, to me, the Mavs were definitely better last year than what they yes. was in previous years, simply because Jay Kidd came in and said, "No, nah, more about do this. It's more about Jason Kidd than than uh, than than Don, Don Chick now." Yeah. Yeah, because when they beat when they beat Phoenix, it was not all Doncic. It was uh Finney Smith coming in having a game and Bullock coming in to having a game, Bronson coming in and having a game. Then with I think I think that and then with you know what I'm saying? I think that's Jason Kidd, because Luca, y'all already know that boy would have said, Y'all had trying to have a game. Uh uh-uh, uh, watch this, hold my bill. I'm finna have mm-hmm. a game. So I think that's some development. But Jaden Hardy, he gonna be coming in with that second unit, and that boy can score. So yes, whew, that yes. boy can score. And that's somebody my boy Mike B wanted. Yeah, he did. He was calling for Hardy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that we didn't have no second round pick. We could have got him if we had a second round pick. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shot that he fell yeah. out of the first round, though, to be honest. Hey, some... <laughs> my boy Jay Capone, Capone the Don said, make me a mod on Folding and Gray. Hey, <laughs> bro. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> We're going to make my man some mod, bro. You feel me? I'm well, gonna hold it down. You know what I'm saying? So I like how uh, CJ the Truth said he like how Marco stayed confident after the six misses in a row, stayed aggressive. Hey, yes. that's all you asking for. Yeah, that's what yeah. You gotta you asking for. Hey, I appreciate that. Don't just look at like I'm just going hard on a man. Like, damn, Charlie, just say he dominated. No, I'm not gonna say he dominated. It's the first game. He played a good game. It's a good start. I have never seen him play laugh before. This was my first time. He did pretty good. Let's go to the next game. Let me see it two times in a row. Two times. Two times. That's on across. Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. Sunday. Let's get it. It's busting. Sunday. Travis Andrews said Tony Bradley needs to go play for the New York Knicks. <laughs> he can go play wherever you want. Just don't play over here. What's wrong with him? Get the hell on. <laughs> for real. And then he said, what up, boy, Bobby? I'm Trav. A man, my, I'm a man, my guy. I'm a man. Look at <laughs> this, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm short, but I'm a man, damn it. <laughs> oh, bro. Uh, James, James said a lot of turnovers. Marco was balling. Lewis was nice. I take that. We take that. For real. Who? Uh... He said, who do y'all, CJ the Truth said, who do y'all see taking more of a scoring role next game? Ooh, uh, I think they want to get, the I think they, that's a great question. I think they want to get Justin Lewis. I didn't think they got a good look at Justin Lewis this game. I think they didn't um, uh, give him enough touches. Maybe it's not their fault. Maybe it's the players that was on the floor. Um but I would like to see Justin Lewis get a, a lot more opportunities the uh, opportunities than he did today. Because I think he can do much, much more than what he put on the floor today. Kev? I want to see I want to see Liberty go off. Like I want to see him have like a Ben Gordon type, Kimber Walker type game. Uh, you know, for the for the land. You know, he's from the South. And it'll be good to see him go off in the summer league and maybe, you know, upwards of 30, 40 points. It'll be cool to see that. Oh wow. I think Damn. that was a good pick, but I'm gonna stick with the guy, Samanovic, bro. This, okay. this, it's bro, this has to be his summer league, bro. Like it does. You you played last year in the summer league. Then they sent you, they was like, nah, you ain't ready. You need to go to do Windy City Bulls. You telling us you got a chip on your shoulder, you working hard every day. This gotta be your summer league, bro. You, you right come out. You got you drop 27 a day. We need another dub next game. He can't it gotta let, be a good dub. He cannot let nobody else be the alpha on this team. He he has to be the dog, the lead dog, and it has to be understood that it's 
it's his team, this summer league team. I agree with you. Let me ask y'all this. What if he comes next game Sunday and he drops 15 points, eight rebounds? He plays the same amount of minutes. How would y'all feel about Simonovich? Does he put up the same amount of shots? Like, see, my thing is this. If he put up those types of numbers and he's like six for 24 from the field, I'm going to be salty. But if it's within the Florida offense and he only took 12 shots, you know what I'm saying, 13 shots, and he's doing what he's doing within what's happening in the game, I don't have a problem with it. Obviously, I want him to demand the ball and, and go out there and dominate like some people thought he did today. But if he go out there and put up a stinker, no, fam, this is summer league. No, you you, you can't do that. You can't yeah. do it. Agree. And I'm on I'm on the same what I'm on, I'm on the same page as Kev. What does the game look like? Would you just jacking stuff up or was your 15 points meaningful? You know what I'm saying? I had the Bulls down six and the team, you know what I'm saying, about to go, about to either make it by uh eight or nine, and you come in and be like, uh-uh. You can try to will your team back. You know what I'm saying? What is those points gonna look like? If he does come out there and lay a dud, I'm going to be disappointed. I'm going to be real. You know what I'm saying? I oh, just wow. said this is his summer league. Ain't no mm. time to be having these lackadaisical games, bro. You you trying to make this team just like everybody else. Yes. And you know what I'm saying? Don't try to do too much, but you definitely need to show up and be like, yeah, I played this shit last year, but I'm finna take over this shit this year. Yeah, you know that's what, that, yeah, I, I see what y'all saying, but that wasn't my point. My point is, Y'all said that this is his summer league. So would an output of 15 points be enough for you? Will you be satisfied with a 15 about, points? Even with 12 playing, shots. Even with I think 12 we shots. I that question because I told it's you. It's about I've been playing effective and- basketball. We, we, we don't want him to. I, honestly, this is his summer league. But it's a lot of other people out there scrapping and clawing too. So you're going to have games like. Like today, even when players were just jacking up shots and you know Thanks. throwing they the ball around, they definitely was jacking it. So, <laughs> they was jacking him up. <laughs> so he can get frozen out. You get what I'm saying? Like it's summer league; it can happen. All I'm saying is, how does it look when if you put up 15 points? 15 points ain't got to be disappointing, see, Doug. It ain't got to if it's a, if it's a good 15 points, eight rebounds, two blocks, a steal. If you playing effective basketball, I'll take that. Cause you gotta have poise to be out here, not just out there trying to trying to force things. I don't want to see Samanovich trying to force things because we expect a lot from him. I want him to play basketball the right way. That's just me right. personally. Yeah, it's gonna that's, be interesting. That's, that's a good thing. Cause what if he drop 15, but Dalen Terry give you 12, 15 points? He only dropped six today. But what if he have more of a scoring effect on the game? Or Justin Lewis has a better offensive game. So you know, I like to look at it from that. That boy Dale and Terry need to work on that motherfucking jump shot. I'm telling you right now. I got something on Dale and Terry. Jay Capone said, hey, Dale needs to call up Pooh. First of all, Pooh need to bring his ass home. Come on back. Yes, Sersky, come to the crib, boy. He said he need to learn that floater game. He said he need to learn that floater game because y'all already know that boy Dale with the floater. Absolutely. You already know that. Because the penetration in the paint was was there for him all night. It's just sometimes. He got like stuck. He didn't have the shot. So yeah. He would throw it out and it was a bad pass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like some of them was hidden. It was some that was off, you know what I'm saying? Off hitting the point. But it was, it was like good decisions, but he couldn't, you know what I'm saying? Get those passes to be more crisp. Hey, man. What about that full court pass from that kid? That 70 footer? Yes. Nice. That looked like Lonzo. Yeah. I got yeah. Lonzo yeah. vibes. That was oh. in strat, bro. Justin Fields, you better check out this boy daily, boy. He throwing dots. <laughs> <laughs> but show for show. Go on to the next one, nephew. Uh, uh, JD said, don't forget about the defense. Uh, three blocks and one important steal. Definitely. He's talking about Marco. He's, He's talking about Marco. Marco. He's talking yeah. about Marco. Absolutely. Show. He made some plays. He made some plays. Definitely. Okay, Joe. And then Kush Boss, welcome to the channel, my guy. And everybody up, else, Boss? we just hit. We just hit 50 in the month. Uh, Kush, Kush Boss. Oh, go ahead, bro. Nah, just saying, appreciate the, the everybody that's up in here rocking with us. You feel me? Kush Boss, man. He he certified. He was at the last live. What up, fam? How you feeling, baby? You know, hey, with a name like that, he feeling good. What you think? I know he <laughs> feeling He feeling good. <laughs> For real. Uh t- 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 
J- I'm sorry if I messed up your name, but it's uh Jihad. Yeah, Jihad Dean says Terry has zero jump shot, but he looked excited. Definitely. And like yeah. we like I said before, it's good to see that this man cheering his tail off for his teammates. He going crazy. That's that's a, hey, they said the man was a great chemistry guy and a great glue guy. And hey, look, school, it's not so. it's not uncommon for a, a, a athletic player to come to the NBA and not have a jump shot. Like when we saw Max. it with Derrick Rose, Marcus Smart, uh, even Jason Kidd, um, Rajon Rondo. Jason Kidd worked his way all the way up to at one point like number two or three on the three point list before like the the evolution of the three pointer in the NBA. Uh, it's not that difficult, you know, if you, to get back in the gym and work on it over the next two three years. We're gonna see Dalen Terry putting that ball in the basket unless he. You know, it's like a uh, old boy out in, in Brooklyn. It's a light skinned boy out in Brooklyn that left Philly. Oh, uh, it's ben, Simmons. ben Simmons. Ben Simmons. That's the Simmons, only. Though. He's literally the only person that I've ever seen not even try to get yeah. better at shooting. Like hell, even Shaq bro. and Dwight Howard and all of them tried to get better at shooting. <laughs> hey, I will tell you one thing about Dalen. He is exciting in the open court, baby. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. Man, he get busy. Yeah, he get imagine. busy in the open court, baby. Imagine Lonzo. I Him and Lonzo, Zach, what? Daylon Terry. <laughs> oh, my God. Man, that'll be exciting to see. You feel me? That'll be exciting to see. So, you know, we got uh, Bob came back with another one, said good conversation about balling. Hey, y- yes, that's sir, what Bob. we like to do, man. Bless and subscribe. Please yeah. subscribe. Appreciate y'all. Hey, Kush Boss, he feeling good off that, you know. He said, C-Dub, you sound like the baby from Babe Kids. From Babe Kids? <laughs> Babe, Dang. Babe. Oh, he's talking about. <laughs> oh, he said, good God. That's messed up, Jack. <laughs> Damn, yeah, right. no. You trying to cut Kush Boss? Hey, he, hey, he, 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 he high he for real. <laughs> His ass is <laughs> high <laughs> tweaking right now. <laughs> Anthony King, you said 18 Ooh, pick, shaking my damn head. Feeling. Elaborate, bro. Elaborate think, so we can break it down like a little bit. Are he you ain't fucking with Dalen Terry. With Dalen or let, let us hear, my boy. He ain't rocking with Dalen. Is it? Are we right? You saying you ain't rocking with Dalen? That's what it sounds like. Yeah, he, yeah that's, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it sounds like. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what it sounds like. But I already, you already I already. Know, you already know over here on Shy Bulls, you're going to have to get on the train or get off, fam. <laughs> Dig. That's what we got. <laughs> you can't go you back me? and re. You can't go back and redraft somebody at the 18th pick. You know what I'm saying, bro? Damn, I just want to know what, what the hell is it? What's wrong? He's not about to yeah. be Marcus Teague. I'll tell you that much. Um, oh, he said not. Marcus Teague. <laughs> Coach Boss said he 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 just cracking jokes. It's nothing but respect. Oh, oh no, it's, it's love, Coach Boss. Boss. I, it's love, big dog. It's love. For real. We well, um, hit each other in the head too. You did. <laughs> I'm gonna say this though. Um, I feel like the Bulls, the after viewing the first game and then going and looking at the highlights of Terry, he to me in my mind, y'all tell me if I'm wrong, I'm willing to be wrong. He provides more versatility than EJ Liddell, who the hell we wanted to draft. And then my main man Hayes pointed out anyway, Justin Lewis. Feels the is is damn near the same player as EJ Liddell. So the Bulls got two players to fill a void that was missing at yes. the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Just, and they believe in Simonovich. Like they yeah. believe in Simonovich. So we just got to rock with. We got to rock with this front office, man. We're not dealing with guard packs no more, and we got to yeah. be patient. We, we just have. We absolutely have to be patient. Look at yeah. how Denver Denver wasn't good seven eight years ago. But huh. now they're, you know, they, they got MVP. It's player development, MVP. man. It's player exactly. development, man. Look at the top teams that was just in the finals. Mm-hmm. Player development all through Golden State, all through Boston. A mm-hmm. lot of the times we already know if these if these teams they trade for these superstars, you you leveraging your and you leveraging your future. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, le- a lot of times you leverage your future. You got to give up key players and picks, and then a lot of times it shit don't even work out. Bro, Utah gonna make it to the second round, maybe, maybe the third. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, they, they not winning no champion. Not Utah, Minnesota. Minnesota gave up everything to get Rudy Gobert. To, I don't like think some it's gonna, idiots, right? I don't think, I don't it's, think, gonna think it's gonna work. Gonna, mm-hmm. I said first round exit. 
I say first I'll round say, exit. I say the same. Get ready because Rudy can't play in clutch moments or he can't play against teams that are more athletic because they're going to cook his ass every time. So they trying to bring uh, Eddie Curry and Tyson Chandler back. They trying to do the Twin <laughs> Towers thing. <laughs> that not today in this NBA. Knock it off. Good question. Mm -hmm. uh, Jay Capone said, do y'all think Dayla can develop into CJ McCollum on the offensive side? I think uh, that's a good way to go. Uh, I, I'm gonna disagree. Know. I see him more like a Tyree Maxey type player, from what I, I don't even. Mm. I, I don't even see because both of those guys that you guys just said, uh, Tyree Maxey and uh, CJ McCollum, those guys are professional scorers. I don't think Dale and Terry is like that type of player. I think he's a Lonzo Ball playmaking, do everything defensive type of player. I don't so think I he'll ever be an elite scorer. You I know what I'm saying? I'm going to just disagree with one point on uh, Maxi. I think that boy is uh, – can he hit the three? Yes. But his game is predicated on let me get this bitch off the rim and I'm gone. Go. And, if, and if you too slow, <laughs> that's your I mean, problem. I, that's layups. That's your that's problem. You know so that's a fact. Man hit the three, but he couldn't – when he first got here, it was, it was something he had to work on. This is his second that's year. Right. He took off in his second year. I see, I see Terry being more like that, get the ball, push it in the, in the open transition. Absolutely. But I don't see him relying on uh, the mid-range game and the three-point game, kind of like C.J. McCullough, and is, McCullough is, is a master at, at this point. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. C.J. The Truth said, Dayla knows how to make the right play and win the time it looks like so far. I yes. already told – I've been saying – look, I might be wrong. I could be right. I feel like Dalen Terry was a signing to, for reassurance if Lonzo Ball need – Goes oh, out. See, oh, see, Dub don't like to hear it, but come on, bro. Yeah, when did we hear the news that Lonzo gonna be out? I ain't heard it yet. So we I'm gonna ride that, with Lonzo. We, hold on, hold on. Let me say this: uh, uh, We heard the news he's supposed to come back in March, right? He ain't come back. We heard the news he's season. supposed to come back before playoffs. He ain't come back. We heard the news that the man after the playoffs, when they got put out, he still wasn't the, uh progressing. We just heard about him progressing about two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's still up in the air. I don't think so. Until they say he's out, I'm going to uh, go about I'm my business the, like Lonzo. I'm erring, I'm erring on the side of caution, and he's not available until he's available. That's how I Facts. feel. Facts. Oh, that's that's how I, look hey, I, think, I think all Chicago basketball fans is living in trauma, i.e. Derrick Rose. Baby. They just they just living in trauma. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna be confident and say that Lonzo Ball will be ready for the regular I season hope you're right. until I hear otherwise. I hope you're right. I hope you're right for real. Because it ain't oh, just Derrick Rose. We, we, it's we not the first injury. knee, bro. It's and not the last first season we had injuries. They got trauma, season. baby. Hey, we all need us some psychiat psychiatrists, baby. You know what I'm saying? We got to get over it. Lonzo Ball is okay. His daddy said he's straight. He ain't played a full his season. His daddy yet. said a lot NBA of stuff. Career. He's yet to play a full NBA season, period, in his career. Period. Point blank. Oh, bro. Not once. Uh, I believe in AK. They are building the win now and for the future. We have a few young guys. Definitely, man. JD said that. And then we got uh, TL Esquire. He said, y'all still live from the North Pole, Howard? Nah, bro. We live from the Windy City. You feel me? Yes, sir. Oh, bro. <laughs> I like that nephew, oh, bro. Hey, but we fuck talking, with you, about, though. He's talking about the red line, uh, North Pole. Yeah, we know what that shit is. We talking about the jungle. We know what that is. The last stop on the red line. We know what the jungle <laughs> is. <laughs> that, that ain't for y'all. That's that's for the uh, for the people listening, my guy. Oh, my mama. We, we live for everywhere, is. goddamn. For yeah, everywhere. Man. Shy City, you feel me? Uh, the the the. Back on the Minnesota tip, CJ Truce, I don't know because Anthony Edwards might hit another level next year for Minnesota. Yeah, I, I believe Anthony Edwards will progress, but okay, you're going to have Cat sitting out on the three-point line. You're going to have Rudy in the paint. That's What's going to happen? He's going to play drop coverage? <laughs> like, he's going to get killed. Damn. Nephew, could you say what you just said again? This is just crazy to me. That's just me, man. They you said, no, no, me. I agree with you. It's just nuts what the Minnesota Timberwolves are trying to do. They're trying to make Cat a perimeter player at seven feet tall. He don't, he he's not Kevin Durant. He don't have the build of Kevin Durant. They going to run his ass into the dirt. It's, it's just crazy. I want to see how this turns out. I just hey. want to see it. Hey, T.L. Esquire said Lonzo out for a while, cool. 
I fuck with you. <laughs> we'll see, man. <laughs> they say he gon' they say he gonna be ready. So we'll see. My <clears throat> man got Walker from the CNG podcast said y'all gonna listen to me one day, Marco. It's you and nephew. Oh. Y'all been singing that song. You and my nephew been Marco, Marco. When they gonna bring Marco? Marco. I'm like, who is that? I don't even know who that is. Who is that? Now I know. He look all right. We got some more games to see though. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Jacob Pong said that's why I rely on Kush to help my trauma. See, duh. For real. <laughs> oh, bro. Me, me too. <laughs> you me? Me too. I can't. I can't yet. Once I get uh. <laughs> I ain't gonna go into it. Then. Don't go into, into it, it, nephew. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Hell no. Hey, Martin Young said that boy Williams and Boston had MCL and also had issue with bone bruises, so Zoe should be young enough to recover. Absolutely, he, he should be. We hoping he. We hope you all y'all right. I'm. I'm Trump. definitely hoping all y'all right. You feel me? Because hey, even though he had MCL M shoes, he still showed up in them damn the last two Zoe series. Zoe is the glue. Zoe is the glue. Yes. Oh, absolutely. To this team, he's the X factor yes. on he both is. ends of the court. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, what happened to my man's though? He ain't never give us the explanation. You coming back or what, Anthony King? He, he just say feel it, daily Terry. I just want to know. I don't know what he uh, what he thought. He was just going to come in and rain threes or he was going to come in and start dunking on people. He's a young I kid. That's, I just think that's just not the player that he wanted to be picked at that at that spot. Well, that's for that. sure. I honor that. I honor that for sure. I just want to know. Man. Did, we, we just didn't boo him like the Knicks fans did. <laughs> bro. <laughs> the Knicks, they, they just be overdoing it. Like, bro, that ain't the mecca of basketball no more, bro. That's over like, with. That's over with. We ain't had only... They got it's championships. Of, it's not the mecca of rap no more either. It ain't. <laughs> no, they, did, they did get a championship in the 70s with Phil Jackson and them. So I remember that, but not nothing since. They haven't won one since then. Yeah, yeah. come on, man. With all Dumps this. the fire. Hold on, Lord Jesus. It's a fire. <laughs> oh, bro. For real. So, yeah, man, we got the comments slowing up. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, y'all go ahead and get y'all final thoughts, man. My final thoughts is, man, uh, I'm not disagreeing with my uh, my my guys here on the uh, show. They think that he played a, a you know a very great game today. I just want to see the next game. I never fall for the first, you know what I'm saying, the first dose of uh, skill or the game, whatever you want to call it. I want to see some consecutive games of domination. Even though I don't say he dominated this game, I want to see two consecutive games of good play. Uh, Dalen Terry was awesome. Javon Freeman, uh, uh, Liberty was awesome. I want to see some more from Justin Lewis. But overall, good day today. Good day. Big bro would take a win in any way, shape, or form or fashion. I don't care if it's summer league. I don't care if it's a game of 21, a game of 32. A win is a win, baby. And I'm glad the Bulls got that W today. Looking forward to seeing them cleaning up the turnovers overall as a team. Looking forward to see Samanovic, see if he can continue to lead these young men to victories. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to all these young guys. I want to see some more dunks, too. And I want to see some athletic happen tomorrow, I mean, yeah, on Sunday. Yeah. On the real though. So For before sure. I get my final thoughts, I'm, I feel like these two co these two comments are important. So just keep it short. Always. Uh, Jay Capone said, "Can we say the bench is a uh, definite improvement from last season?" Yes, absolutely. Adding Andre Drummond and uh, Dale and Terry, they will give significant um, improvement to this bench as well as as, as well as Goran Dragic. Like we needed shooting off the bench too. Like that's what. Uh, yeah, I hope about. so. The offense just disappeared when the bench came in, you know. So you yeah. need more shooting off the bench and all that too. So yeah, we got we've gotten better, but we can still get better. Yeah, absolutely. In short, I would say yes, uh, because really off the bench last year, when once Caruso went down, the only people you can count on was Io and uh Kobe, but Kobe was too inconsistent for me. But overall, over the off season, yes, improved. Last comment, if Caruso and Alonzo stay healthy this season, we'll be lethal in transition with Io and Terry. Absolutely. 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 Good point, we'll be, my we'll guy. We'll definitely be back in the top five in overall offense with, with a healthy team. Yeah. For sure. Because we're going to get a lot of steals. A lot of steals. Hey, man, we was 26 and 10, man, with our whole squad, man. 26 and 10. 
Top of then the COVID head. came, smacked the shit out of us. <laughs> and then Alonzo got hurt. Pat got Andrew hurt. Bro, it was all. Right after. Yeah. So, yeah, my yeah. final thoughts is good outing from this Bulls team. Way to fight, damn it. I thought, I'm like, no, no blowout during Summer League. I don't want to see Amen. that. No, Amen. so it was a good fight. I don't care if the score was 100 through 99. Like like Kev said, we want to take the wins in whatever way we can get them. I, yes. If I go to the damn wild right now, I want to win. If you're on my team, we trying to win, damn it. Oh, but, bro. hey. Thank y'all for rocking with us. All 46 of y'all in the damn uh, live right now. Hit that like hey, we, button. We capped subscribe. out at 50, though. We capped out at 50. You feel 50. me? Hey, no, bro. Go ahead and do what Andre 3000 said. Share with your mama's mama, your mama's mama, and your mama's mama, goddamn. And then y'all got to hit hit an intro because it's cognac. Hey, hey, I can't wait till they get that Caroline. Y'all can't get it yet, though. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Cognac. Cognac.